Chip and Joanna Gaines hired to renovate Heavenly Father's big, big house with lots and lots of rooms. Cello. Got cello. Is that a hello? You get it? Cello. Mm. It's like a joke, just less funny. That's so funny, I forgot to laugh. We're about to take you on a trip. Hey guys, it's me, Neil. This is actually this is not a regular devotional video. This is not your regularly scheduled program. Yeah. We are about to take you on a trip. We're going on a trip. <laughs> We're going on a trip in our favorite rocket ship. We are gonna take you on a journey. A journey through. Tell them, Neil. Israel. Israel. You're Believe. We're about to change up the way these devotions have been for a little bit and we're gonna do it a little different. Scared! <laughs> this is the story of the Bible. All those stories you've heard growing up or yeah. heard through pop culture, anything you've heard about Jesus' life and what he's done. Yeah. We are going to take you with us to places where it happened. Yeah. Who was there? Yeah. What it smelled like. Scratch and sniff. The land of Israel is actually the land of the Bible. It's the land of the Bible. I'm going to check that. Let's see. I don't know Spanish. Me llamo T-Bone La Jarreño Discotheque. So question for you. What is the greatest commandment? You know, if you're asking me, yeah. I would say look to the Bible. Ooh. And the Bible in Matthew talks about the greatest commandment. It's That's in 22. Yeah. Verses 36 through 38. Teacher, what is the greatest commandment in the law? Jesus replied, love the Lord your God with all of your heart, with all of your soul, and with all of your strength. This is the first and greatest commandment. It is the first and the greatest commandment. He even goes on from there and he says to love your neighbor like yourself. Love other people as much as you love yourself. Now, that's good. Think of if we really did that. What would the world look like if people cared about others like they care about themselves? I don't think a lot of people don't reject the church. They reject the people that are oh, safe yeah. that they go to. If you spend time with a friend, you end up being around some of the things that they like. Hobbies, sports, basically all of it. So what that means is part of loving God means that we love His story. We love His Word. Yep. This Bible is His story. In the Bible, that story, the nation of Israel, that's where it all happened. When we went, and spoiler alert, we, we, we are going to take you on a trip to Israel and we're going to ask you to come with we're us. We're going on a trip. Uh, here we go. We're going on a trip. We're going to take you and show you places like the Garden of Gethsemane where Jesus prayed so hard that he actually sweat drops of blood. It was a place he went to right before the cross. We're going to also show you where David snuck into the city of Jerusalem. And he conquered it by entering through some water tunnels underground. Guess what? What? Spoiler alert. We're going to those water tunnels. There's this guy named Elijah, and he had this showdown on the top of Mount Carmel. And there's these other prophets, or this false god, his name's Baal, weird names, false idol people, whatever. They're trash talking, and God basically brings fire down from heaven. <laughs> we're gonna go there. We're, we're gonna show you exactly where that happened. Do that noise again. Where this happened, we're doing that. Remember the story about a guy named Gideon? Mm. Took 300. Remember the movie? Yeah. This is Sparta! 300 men, that's not the same nah. story, <laughs> but the same number. number. 300 men up against an army of 135,000. That's crazy odds. And we are going to show you a fight we had with those people. I'm kidding. <laughs> no, we're going to take you to where he picked some of those 300 men and how he did it. Yeah. How he chose the 300 that were going to go. Because he had more than that. He trimmed it down. Yeah. Because God does more with less. Is that true? That's not in the Bible. I just made that up. Oh, it's not good. It should be. Thanks. And even put, put it on. I'm going to put it on a, a, a pillow in my mom's house. <laughs> We're gonna go inside the garden tomb where a lot of people believe is the actual location where Jesus was buried and he rose from the dead three or three days later. Now, I'm not 100% sure that's exactly where it happened, but it, it's, we're pretty sure. We feel pretty good about it. We're also gonna take you to the Sea of Galilee. Oh, I don't know why I leaned in, I got real aggressive. We're also gonna take you to the Sea of Galilee, Galilee. where Jesus walked on water. But the cream will rise to the top, oh yeah. Spoke to the wind and the waves, on the mountain. fed thousands of people, five loaves of bread, two fish now, y'all. Dose. Spoiler alert. You give spoiler alerts. One of us tries to walk on the water. <laughs> it was me. It was me! He's not joking at it all. Me. So these devos are gonna be different than our normal devotionals, and they're they're meant to be there. Yeah! They're meant to, to be different. Neil, I know Neil doesn't care about you guys, but I do. And I can't wait to take you on this journey, this magic carpet ride with us. A whole new world. And you can help 
Yeah. Well, I'll watch it. Help, 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 help your friends. friends. Yes. If you like it and you're like, oh, I remember that felt board from when I was in eighth, seventh grade yeah. at church. Guess what? We're going to show you where it was. Yeah. We're going to take you on this ride. So it's about to get really cool, very different, and a lot of visuals. And we're going to show you all that. God, thank you for your word and how it helps teach us and correct us and backs us down when we're wrong and trains us for the best life that you have planned for us. We look forward to learning from you. In Jesus' name, amen. It's been a long time since Tyler and I made a video that was successful. No, we made videos. Just one that was successful. <laughs> Baby shark. Do, 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 do. Uh, who did, who did it? Travis Scott just danced on stage last night to a version of Baby Shark. Baby shark. It's an eight hour time difference. I just find my ear the whole time. Yeah. I'm so sorry. There is no one that does it better than the Macho Man Randy Savage.